Hey there, it's Aviva from Elementor. Welcome back to How to Build a Blog in Elementor. In the previous lesson, we learned about the WordPress dashboard and defined the essential settings of our website. In this lesson, we'll go over Elementor's Kit Library, an exciting feature which provides us with dozens of professionally designed full website template kits. We'll then choose one to apply to our website and customize it to make it all our own. If you're already familiar with the Elementor Kits feature, or you've opted to create your own design layout from scratch, feel free to skip ahead to the next video. But if you want to learn to use Elementor Kits to your advantage and create a beautiful working website and quickly, stick around for this lesson. A template kit is a full set of ready-made designs which we can apply to our site. It includes all the pages, parts, placeholder content, and settings that we'd expect in a fully functional website. In the past, we would have imported individual templates one by one, but with kits, we're now able to import multiple website layouts in one shot. Each layout adheres to the same design guidelines, making the entire process of creating a website simpler and faster and ensuring consistency across our site. Now let's navigate to the kit library, where we'll find a diverse collection of professional designs to choose from by going to Templates, Kit Library. We can refresh the kit to see all the latest kits, view more information about these kits, and close the kit library to return to the WordPress dashboard. On the left side are helpful filtering options to help us find the best suited kit for our project. We can use these checkboxes to search by categories and tags, or use the search bar by typing in specific keywords. Some kits will show a pro or expert tag, meaning they're only available for Elementor subscribers on the pro or expert tiers, respectively. These exclusive kits offer a variety of templates that incorporate widgets and features that are not available in the free version. Once we find a kit of interest, we can click on it to view it in demo mode. Up here, we can click to preview the design on different devices. Click Overview to see the other templates available in this kit. As we can see, the kit templates are divided into pages, site parts, and pop-ups. This travel blog kit looks perfect for Xander. Once we're satisfied with the kit we've selected, we'll click Apply Kit. Before the kit is actually imported onto our site though, we'll be prompted to choose which templates and content to apply to our site. So if for example we only want the templates to be imported, but without additional content, we can uncheck the relevant options. With our options set, we'll click Next. Once the kit import has been completed, we'll see a confirmation screen with a list of all the imported content. Perfect. Next, we'll return to the WordPress dashboard, where we'll configure some more important settings for our site and view the content we've imported. While importing a kit is a great way to get started quickly with a new site, there are a few aspects of the site we still need to set up manually. The first is our navigation menu. To set it up, we'll go to Appearance, Menus. The first thing we'll do is create our site's menu by giving it a name and clicking Create Menu. WordPress offers a variety of content types we can link to, such as pages, categories, and even individual posts. We can also link to a specific page or section, or we can use a custom link. Click View All to list all the pages on our site. For Xander's website, the menu should display links to the Home, About, and Contact pages. Add them to our menu. Our next step is to add the Articles page. To do this, expand the Categories tab and choose Uncategorized. This will link to an archive of every article that is not associated with any other category. We'll learn how to change the category name in a later lesson. Now let's make a few changes to this menu. 
Click and drag any item in the menu to change its order of appearance. We can also expand items to change the text that will appear on our site menu. Now that we're done with our menu, let's save our changes and take a look at everything that was added when we imported our new website kit. Starting with the pages area, we can see that several new pages have been added. We can create new pages if we'd like by clicking here, or make quick edits such as to the page's title and URL by hovering our cursor over the page name and clicking Quick Edit. We'll also need to update the slug. No, not those slimy creatures, but rather the last part of the page's URL. Click Update to save changes. We'll repeat this for each of our pages. Next, we'll check for and remove any unneeded pages in order to keep our site organized and lightweight. We'll delete the default sample page. We can make changes to several pages at once by selecting them and choosing any bulk edit option from the dropdown. Edit pages by clicking edit or simply click on a page title, which gives us more editing options, including the page's thumbnail image called featured image here. View page revisions and more. Modify content using the Elementor editor by clicking Edit with Elementor. We'll cover this in detail in the next lesson. Back in the WordPress dashboard now, let's take a look at the posts. These sample posts have been automatically generated in order to help us get started. They'll be useful in previewing the archives, single post, and other kit layouts, so we'll keep them for now. Once we've started adding our own content, these posts may be deleted. Now let's preview all the imported site parts. We'll navigate our way to Templates, Theme Builder. We may encounter this legacy layout, which we can bypass to get to the new Theme Builder. It's divided into template categories for easy access. In our next few lessons, we'll get familiar with the new Theme Builder and learn how to edit individual templates and pages. Speaking of pages, recall from the previous lesson that the homepage settings are imported together with a kit. We can confirm this by going to Settings, Reading, and as we can see, our site's designated homepage is set to the homepage we've imported along with our kit. And that's it. We've now installed our kit and updated our website's main settings. In our next lesson, we'll customize our website design and give our site its unique identity using the Elementor editor. So continue watching 